Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about the difference between stator fed and rotor fed induction motor. Don't forget to subscribe this channel and check our playlist for more such videos. So let's start with the stator fed induction motor. So what does the stator fed means? Means we are feeding the AC supply to the stator. This is your stator and this is your rotor. Now, the rotating magnetic field developed in the stator in this direction, its speed will be given by Ns. And this will cause another rotating magnetic field which is inside the rotor in this direction. Its speed will be Sns. Now, due to this rotating magnetic field, your rotor will rotate in speed n, where n is the speed of the rotor and is given by n is equal to 1 minus s into ns. So now we will calculate these speed with respect to stator and rotor. So the speed of stator rotating magnetic field, RMF is your rotating magnetic field, with respect to stator is given by ns. It is quite clear. Then stator RMF with respect to rotor. So stator RMF with respect to stator is Ns. And then since rotor is rotating with speed n, therefore we will subtract n here. So we will get Sns. You can use this formula. Now the rotor RMF. So we will start from the fourth one. So the rotor RMF with respect to rotor is Sns. And then rotor RMF with respect to the stator means from stationary point, it is given by SNS and then plus N because rotor is rotating at speed N. So now this is equal to NS. So as you can see that with respect to stator, the stator RMF is NS and rotor RMF is also NS. Similarly, with respect to rotor, both the RMF are equal. See, you can see from here. Now, moving on to rotor fed. So, rotor fed means you are giving supply to rotor. This is your rotor and this is your stator. So, the rotating magnetic field RMF developed in the rotor is, let us assume it is developing in this direction. So, its speed will be Ns. And this RMF or rotating magnetic field will result in another magnetic field in the stator in this direction whose speed will be given by SNS, right? Now, due to this rotating magnetic field, it will tend to move stator in this direction. But as we all know that stator cannot rotate as it is fixed, therefore, the rotor will rotate in opposite direction, in this direction. So I hope the directions are clear because since stator is fixed, it cannot move. Therefore, rotor is moving but in reverse direction. Here also the speed of rotor is given by 1 minus s times of ns where s is your slip and ns is your synchronous speed. Now we are again going to calculate the speed of both the RMF with respect to stator and rotor. So we will start from this one. Rotor RMF with respect to rotor is given by Ns. Then rotor RMF with respect to stator. So with respect to stator or you can say with respect to any stationary point, it will be Ns and now here it will be minus N. Why minus? Because here rotor is rotating in opposite direction and this will be equal to SNS. Now, stator RMF with respect to stator is SNS. We all know that. And then the speed of stator RMF with respect to rotor is given by SNS. As you can see that here it was speed of the stator RMF then minus the speed of the rotor. Here we will also do the same but here since the rotor is rotating in opposite direction then we will add a minus sign again. So this will make SNS plus N and this is equal to NS. So now if you see with respect to rotor both the RMF are having the 
same speed and with respect to stator both the rmf are having the same speed similar to this case so this is the difference between stator fed and rotor fed induction motor if you like this video then please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon to get instant notification you can even check our playlist for more such videos you can even share your views or queries by commenting below in fact you can even suggest us the topic for our next video thank you and bye bye